And we're back yet again, continuing our Q&A, and I have no idea how many more videos this is going to end up being. <clears throat> so let's continue with Simpson Fan 1011 And he asks, if there was a law where you can kill one person a year, who would it be? Um, I have absolutely no idea, because I really don't have the drive or the intention to want to kill anyone in particular. The next question comes from the guy who likes Pi 100. Hi, Pi guy! How you doing, man? And he asks, why am I so much better than you? Well, it's because your voice, man. Your voice just... Oh, God, that voice. <laughs> no, I think, um... That... And I'm gonna be completely serious about this. I bet you weren't expecting me to be completely serious about this question. Um, honestly, I think your commentaries are... Can be better than mine for the sole fact that you've got this natural ability to be funny. Kind of like M Skull. You've got the ability to be funny in your commentaries, and... Me, I try to pull in jokes, but I'm not the funniest guy in the world. At least, I don't think that I am. And your commentaries, the ones that you've made, have been infinitely more hilarious than mine. You've got this natural comedic ability about you. The next set of questions comes from Captain Falcon 54. Fuck on punch! Oh, yeah, pull that out, because I'm lame. Um, question number one. What is the most underrated anime you've seen? Um, I wouldn't really say that it's as underrated as as more, it's probably a little bit more unknown, because I really haven't seen it talked about very much, and one of them would be Deers. I love that anime, it's a fantastic one. <clears throat> Some others would probably be things like um, Rosario Vampire, I don't think very many people, or enough people know about that one, and of course, uh, Strawberry Panic, which there's more people who know about that, but it's not really talked about as much. The next question is Kirk or Picard? I'm going to choose Captain Picard over Captain Kirk any day. Um, main reason is because Picard's more of a three-dimensional character than Kirk was. They're both great strategists. They're both great captains for the Enterprise. But Kirk was too much of just a flat character. He had this. He had his personality. Boom, that's it. That's him. Uh, Picard had a lot more development and just was more three-dimensional. Number three, what is the most overrated movie you've ever seen? Um, pull out any one of the Twilight movies. I've seen the first three, not by choice, mind you, but um, I've seen all three of the first Twilight movies, and they're all crap in my book, and there are so many people who just talk about, oh, they're great, blah, 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 mostly fangirls and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, next question is, what is your favorite cartoon? Um, that's gonna kinda be a toss-up between a couple. One of them was gonna definitely be the Looney Tunes. They're fantastic. Um, and then there's also, say, if you're going more just straight-up cartoon series, that would be, like, The Tick or, um, Darkwing Duck. Next set of questions comes from Mation Animations. And the first question is, who is the biggest loser on YouTube? Um, I would say that's probably most of the bigger, higher echelon YouTube partners. I do not like them. <laughs> I don't like their videos. I don't like their video styles. A bunch of jump cuts, a bunch of flashy edits, it's not what makes a video good. And I really don't find them to be that humorous. I don't see what the appeal is on all these YouTube partners out there like Shane Dawson and Ray William Johnson, Shay Carl, all of them, Sexy Phil, and so on and so forth. Number two, if you made a movie, what would it be about? <clears throat> this is a lot like the, if I made a game, what would it be about? I never really thought about it. Never have. So I really don't know what, if I made a movie, what it would be about. Number three, how long have you liked anime? I would say it's probably close to 20 years I've enjoyed watching anime. I believe I watched um, some of my first anime when I was around eight years old, back around when I first saw things like Sailor Moon and Speed Racer. Um, Vampire Hunter D, a lot of these, and that's when I got into anime, and it's just gone from there. I've continued liking it over the years, uh, despite how much my parents hate the fact that I like anime as much as I do. Number four, what is the most annoying anime character you have ever seen? Um, I will have to say Misa Amane from Death Note, for many reasons. One, her personality irritates me, and the character herself just irritates me, and the fact that I actually thought the series was decent up until she showed up. It was her who marks the start of the fall and the decline in Death Note. If you want more of that, TOG Reviews, my old channel has a review of Death Note on it where I cover that. And number five, are you fed up with all the drama, and I use that term loosely, on YouTube? Not really. It's 
drama. It's one of those things that's going to be there forever. It's always going to be around. If you get tired of seeing drama, eh, too bad, because it's always going to be around. You're never going to get away from drama on YouTube, regardless of what you do. If you go off and do AMVs, you're going to get drama. If you're going to go off and do commentaries, you're going to get drama. Reviews, you're going to get drama. Everything you do, there's going to be drama behind it. So there's really no reason to get fed up and irritated about drama on YouTube, because it's always going to be there. The next set of questions comes from Games by Jet. And the first question is, what is your worst anime? Um, I've answered this one before with uh, Hamtaro. Number two, the biggest douchebag in a video game. The biggest D-bag in a video game, I'm going to go with Seymour from Final Fantasy X. Because everything he did in that game was just D-bag. It was just douchebag left and freaking right. Number three, what is the saddest scene in an anime you have seen? Um, in an anime, I would have to say it's quite possibly, um, scenes within Strawberry Panic. And I'm not going to give away too much, because this is something that I, uh, would prefer people to actually go watch this show. And I'm going to be doing a review of Strawberry Panic, where, um, the main two characters, they are pretty much being torn apart from each other. And downright, that is just freaking sad. And, um, with it being an anime that really hits on an emotional level, uh, it's... It just really irked me, irritated me. It was one of those scenes in the anime and a drama that actually got me going, Damn it! No, no, no! Stop doing that! <laughs> um, number four. Same as three, but with video games. I'm gonna go with um, the very ending to... What was it? Shadow Hearts. Where at the end you got Yuri, and I believe her name was Alice, on the train at the very end of the game, and Alice lands her head onto Yuri's shoulder to go to sleep, and you, the player, know exactly what's gonna happen there. You know exactly what's going on. Yuri doesn't know. They've got the whole love thing going on. They like each other, and you know what's gonna happen, and you're sitting going, no, this is not how the ending of the game can be. You can't do this to Alice. You can't do it to Yuri. We've come to know them. We like these characters. We care about them, and you're gonna do this? This is just wrong. <laughs> and number five is, who do you think the top five most underrated channels on YouTube are. I don't really know who the top my top five underrated YouTube channels are for the sole fact I really don't think about these sort of things. It's one of those things if I like your channel then I like your channel. Um, I'm really not sure about underrated or anything. It's one of those things that people call underrated saying that they don't have enough subscribers and I think um, if you've got a good channel, just give it time. You're going to get the subscribers you're looking for. If that's what you're looking for, that's your reason for doing your videos and having your channel. So I don't think it's as much as underrated as more of unknown. And I can't really name five specific people off the top of my head. The next set of questions comes from Lao of the Underworld. And the first question is, what, or what do you think is your best video? Um, it's sadly a video you're not going to be able to see because it got taken down due to copyright claims and I don't have a backup version of it. Um, it's my second commentary I did on Jay Friedan. Mind you, that thing was almost an hour long, but it wasn't an hour of me just putting in pointless filler. It was an hour of he made so, um, remarks that really were so wrong I had to explain things that took a long time to explain, such as I had a whole section where I explained coding language because of his misinterpretation of coding languages and me being a programmer and a computer technician, I know about coding. And he was completely getting it wrong and talking about these different things that obviously he had no idea what he was talking about. Um, number two, what is the dumbest thing you've ever seen on the internet? I would have to say, for the most part, people who still take Mario to Plumber seriously, despite the fact I don't think he still makes videos, and yet people still come to him and take him seriously, and people still are coming off and going, I'm going to do a commentary on Mario to Plumber. But why? He's a goddamn troll. <laughs> The fact that even to this day, he still gets people, and he's not even trying anymore. And the last question is, who's your favorite reviewer? I kind of answered this one already before by talking about James Rolfe and Doug Walker and how I kind of think that they both went downhill, but James is kind of coming back and uh, he, he's getting his, and his appeal is coming back to me. So the next set of questions comes from Kentucky Fried Platypus. All right. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Platypus, blarg. Uh, question number one, what is the worst commentary or commentator you have ever seen? And this might give a little bit of a bolstering to Serious Hedgehog Code, because I honestly think Too Funny Version 4 has got to be the worst commentator I've ever seen. And, so, and he doesn't do commentaries anymore, as you very well should know, and if you want more information on him, you can always check out my channel and some other people's channels, like Loud Installs, aka Nation of Johnny K, and whatnot, to see some videos that have been done on Too Funny. He was downright horrendous. He was a horrible commentator. 
uh, left and right, all, all the way up and down. Now, mind you saying that Sirius Hedgehog is better than him, that's not saying very much, because they're about as bad as each other. Let's see, what is the most annoying clip or meme that some commentators inject into their videos? Um, I'll show you a few, how about that one? Shut the fuck up! Just X! Yeah, every one of these are overused, and when I use the Nostalgia Critic clips, I could just say pretty much any Nostalgia Critic clip, because all Nostalgia Critic clips are overused. People think, oh wow, Nostalgia Critic, he makes my commentaries funny. Uh, they're, they're all overused, and I get tired of them very quickly. Number three, who is your favorite ranter? There's a lot of good ranters on the internet. There's a lot of good ranters on YouTube. There's people like the Archfiend. I think he's a pretty decent ranter. Um, Housing920 can be on occasion. Um, then, of course, even in the commentary community, there's good ones like Cloud Installs does some good uh, rants. Uh, Entertainment did some good ones. Uh, Youngblood Fantasy 91 can't forget him. He's a great ranter. There's just a lot of them out there that are really good. Number four, what is your favorite movie? Uh, I've already answered this question a couple of times, so we're going to just move. Um, let's see. The next set of questions comes from The Burning Need. And the first question is, last thing you do before sleeping? I usually take a piss and before I get into bed and go to sleep. That's usually what I do right before I go to sleep is take a piss because, yeah, um, that's just what I do. Number two, favorite color of shoelace? I don't really think I've ever worried about the colors of my shoelaces. All I care about is I'm wearing brown shoes. I'm wearing brown shoelaces. I'm wearing black shoes. It needs to be black shoelaces. That's all I really care about. Next question is motto. I don't really have much of a motto to say. I guess one of the things I live my life by is kind of he who wins or yeah, sorry, he who dies with the most stuff is still dead. In other words, saying that life isn't about getting more stuff than the other people. It's more about the things that you do and the experiences you have. Um, because you can have all this stuff in the world, but you're still dead. It's not going to go with you into the next life. It's not going to go with you wherever you go after you die. Number four, doomsday plans. Don't really have any unless you're counting, like, this, or nostalgia, um, <laughs> zombie apocalypse. And then I've got, like, 20 plans, and a lot of them involve a lot of meat, or a lot of meat shields. And one of them involves me knowingly infecting myself. Um, number five, PS Vita. Yes, if I have the money to buy a PS Vita, I am definitely going to buy one. I won't buy the first round because my thing is you never buy a first round piece of equipment or gaming system because they've always got issues. I usually wait for the second release of whatever um, system I buy is. Next set of questions comes from just a Space Cowboy 1. The first question is, I'm sick of Q&As. Get, get over with this, all right? I don't know if you're saying you're sick of them or if you're asking if I'm sick of them. And no, I'm really not sick of Q&As. Uh, the way I made the announcement video was more to just be funny, you know, be like, oh god, you guys want another Q&A? Oh, fine, I'll do it. But um, yeah, I don't mind doing Q&As. I kind of like it. It's like getting a chance to talk back to the subscribers and talk back to my fans. Letting you guys get to know me a little bit more. Letting you find out the stuff you want to know. So yeah, I don't mind Q&As. I actually like doing them. I just really wasn't suspect or expecting this kind of response on this one in particular. Question number two, I don't know what to ask. Then don't ask a question. Number three, you want me to get a new PC so I can make videos? Sure. <laughs> yes, get you a new PC, damn it. Do it now. Go. Go to Best Buy and buy a freaking PC right now. And make sure it's not a Mac. <laughs> question number four. Okay, now my anime question. If you were Fly Puss Foot, yes, that it, that it name, so what, from Bonaco, or Bacano, the show takes place in 30s USA, and no, I don't, don't, if you haven't seen it, if you need to watch it now, with two crazy killers, one called Lad Russo, and the other called Rail Tracer, I guess that's a take on Trail Racer or something, real name, come on later, you know spoilers, what would you do? I have no idea, because I have no idea what the hell you are talking about! And number five, I'm all out of questions, um, boobs. Um, I'm not showing you mine. Uh, if you got a nice set, you can show me yours, I guess. <laughs> Next set of questions comes from Phoenix Angel Gal. Hi, Kristen! Um, number one, if I recommend the band Kalafina to you, would you listen to it? Their composer is Yuki Kajura, which probably rings a bell. Kind of, I kind of recognize the name, and I've never listened to them, but I will check them out. Um, if you say they're good, I'll go ahead and check them out and see what I think. Um, well, who is your favorite female musician is number two. I will have to say Lisa Alley from Etro Anime. Once again, they've only had one 
album come out. She's got a beautiful voice. Her singing voice is just fantastic. I love it. Number three, if I recommended Princess Tutu to you, would you laugh at me or actually watch it through? I've actually had quite a few people suggest I watch Princess Tutu, telling me that it's going to be better than what I'm expecting, because when I first heard about it, it was in an AMV, and I was like, what the hell is this? A bunch of people doing pretty little dances. I'm like, no, actually, it's a pretty cool anime. So, um, I intend to watch it sometime. I haven't had a chance to get around to it. I'm watching other anime first. <laughs> but yeah, I, I won't laugh at you, because if you like it, that's your taste, man. Why would I laugh at you for liking Princess Tutu? Just like, why would I make fun of you for like My Little Pony? If that's your taste, go for it. And I, I'm not saying you like My Little Pony, it's just an example, you know what I'm saying. Um, question number four, favorite anime from the 90s? Uh, there's a lot of good anime. Um, Sa or Sailor Moon, I enjoyed it. There was, of course, Speed Racer was a fantastic one. I believe Yu Yu Hakusho originally aired in the 90s. There's quite a few that are out there that are really good, that are kind of underrated now. Um, as for movies and stuff, things like uh, Fist of the North Star and Vampire Hunter D. Question five, which voice actor or actress is your idol? Um, I would have to say, quite possibly, it's a toss-up between Richard Epcar and Chris Ayers. And the reason is, not only are they good voice actors, um, it's more of their personalities and who they are. Because I've gotten a chance to sit down and talk with each of them. Um, and they're really cool guys. They're really they're really cool to talk to. They'll just shoot the shit with you. Um, Richard Epcar, got a lot of great stories out of him. Uh, just a great time talking with him. He's a great guy. Chris Ayers, he's the kind of guy, if you ever get a chance and you've got Chris Ayers at a anime convention, <clears throat> talk with him. My God, he has got some of the funniest stories out there regarding anime, voice acting, and production of TV shows and everything at conventions, and he is the kind of guy who will literally just see someone at random in the audience and go talk to him. That's the kind of guy he is. He's a very personable guy. He's really cool. So it's not as much about their talent. It's more of who they are, and that <clears throat> they have this air about them and their respect they have for other people, which is a reason why they'd be a good idols. 